hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is skytech digital now in this video we're going to turn um one of our woocommerce website into an auction website so in this video we are going to um with the help of a plugin we're going to want turn this um you know website and then we're going to get something like this okay so we have a website over here that we want to work out with so as you can see over here this website is when we're going what we're going to it's a normal and a simple commerce website but we want to what um have an auction part over here where people can be instead of add to cart people will be able to what, place what a bid over here so for instance if um the person you know enter 50 dollars over here the person can be able to uh, click on place build place bid to be able to place a bid on this website and then there is also going to be a buy now button over here for people to be able to it. Um, if somebody wants to buy it without bidding, the person can be able to buy it um, outright. So without wasting my time, let's jump into the video. So we're going to go to our back end of the website over here. Now make sure that you have WooCommerce installed. Okay. Make sure that you have WooCommerce installed. Now make sure you install WooCommerce. That is the most important thing. So set up your website. And install WooCommerce because we're going to use WooCommerce to work over it. Now, I have some products that I'm going to work on it. So, um, I have two simple products. The first product and the second product that I'm going to what I'm going to turn them into, into auction. Okay. So, as you can see over here, this is the product that I'm going to what work with it. So, this is, um, you know, second product and this is first product. Okay. So, all are just um, simple WooCommerce a product over here okay so they are all simple products um this one is a simple product this one i think is is let me check and see if it is um you know a variable product or not yeah so this one is also what is a variable product but we're going to turn all of them into um an auction product okay so what we're going to do is um we're going to go to um, plugins over here and then we're going to add new plugin so hover on plugins and click on add new plugin now the next one we're going to do is we're going to search for a plugin called ultimate auction so just search for ultimate auction okay so you're going to get this plugin over here and that is exactly what we're going to what install so without wasting my time just click on what install now now remember that we have one which says what ultimate auction for woocommerce and then another one which says ultimate wordpress auction plugin now we don't want this one all what we want is what ultimate auction for woocommerce so we're going to click on install now over here okay so now that it is installed all what we have to do is to click on activate that blue button over here which is activate to activate the plugin okay very good so now we have the plugin installed now you're going to what um you know they're going to um, give you this one over here you can go through if you want but what we're going to do is um, i'm going to close this one over here okay so now we can go to the settings of the what the ultimate plugin now at the moment you install the um, ultimate auction for woocommerce plugin you're going to have um, you know a menu item over here which we have the settings the actions and then the pro features over here so or if you like you can even click on settings over here but we're going to hover on auctions over here and we go to settings okay guys so now that we are over here now as you can see um you can you know do all the settings for the auctions okay so all the auction settings are over here so um check auction status so for every two minutes we're going to check the status of what of the auction and then you can change it to any minutes that you want and then auctions um processed simultaneously so uh, process 25 auctions per request so um 25 auctions per request will be what process so number of auctions product process per request a settler process processes the specific number auctions whenever a scheduled okay okay so that is what that is it now bidding information so you can what enable um you know adjust update for latest bidding okay or you can decide not to enable. i'm not going to do anything and then um check bidding info in every one second time interval between two adjust requests in what in um seconds so in every one second the beginning for will be what will be checked and that is it now bidding restriction allow administrator to bid 
on their own what auction so as you can see i can be able to allow now if i go over here because i haven't what allowed administrator to what to bid on their own then now if i go ahead and then bid because i am admin over here it will tell me that i cannot what i cannot bid on my own what on my own product so as you can see sorry you cannot bid on your own auction what product okay so that is what that is the settings over here so you can what you can decide to allow administrator to bid on their own what auction or allow auction owner or seller to bid on their own what auction which other way you want but i'm not going to what, do it anything i'm going to what, leave it as it is and then if you go over here the shop page so um the following um, options affect on front shop front end for shop page so um at the front end of the shop page this settings what were affected so auctions display show expired what auctions if you want to show all expired auctions you can show it over and then show auctions on um on the shop page on product search page on product category pages and then on product tag what pages you can decide to what um show it if you want to show it sometimes maybe you don't want to mix the um, auction product with the normal what product so depending on what you want you can what you can do whatever you think you want to do with it now auction detail page so the um when you open the auction page that is the single product page this is the de the, the settings that you have to uh, set over here okay so um the countdown so this is what this is the countdown that we are talking about okay so hours um minute so hours minutes and then what seconds over here and that is what the auction um you know that countdown the countdown over here now if you go to um the hide compact countdown if you want to hide the word the count countdown you can hide it okay and then enable specific what um specific uh, sections so we can what we can enable specific sections so Pri uh, enable send private message enable bid um sections enable what watch list okay and then also enable alert box so um enable the alert box for confirmation when user places what a bit you can also enable and then footer copyright what credit also you can also what enable so these are the few settings about what the ultimate auction for uh, woocommerce now i'm going to leave this settings as it is right now and then what we're going to go is we're going to go through how you can be able to create or edit any product and make it what um you know an auction product so first of all let's go ahead and then edit a product first and then we can be able to what, make it and then later on we can create what a new pro auction product so um, i'm going to hover on product over here and then click on all products over here now i'm going to what um go to my first product over here so over here i hover on it and then i'm going to click on what edit to what to edit the the product so as you can see this is a simple product um very very simple product with not much going on over here okay so um, if you go over here this is what a simple product now because i want to what, make this one as an auction product i'm going to click on the product data over here so i'm going to want to select this one and as you can see there is a new product type which what which has appeared over here which is called the auction product okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the auction product and then as you can see i have the auction product over here now all the auction product details i can be able to enter it over here so i can change the condition from new to what to used okay if the product is new or if it is what if it is used i cannot change the condition so let's say the product is new and then um opening price so what is the opening price of this what um auction so let's say i want to say 50 okay and then the lowest um you know price to what to accept so what is the lowest price that you want to what to accept i still want to accept let's say um 100 okay and then the bid increment so you can what you can um, choose what the increment that you want the bid to 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 go so i'm going to leave it as it is and then the buy now what um price so with the buy now price because i want the lowest price to be what to be um to accept to be 100 i'm still going to leave the buy now as what as 100 over here and then the ending what ending date so over here we can choose what a date for it so i'm going to click on the date selector the date picker and i'm going to choose any date that i want so um let's say i want it to be next week okay so i'm going to um choose 13th what um or 
let's say it's supposed to end on Valentine's Day, so 14th what, um, February. So that is it. And then the time and everything you can what you can set it what over here. Okay. So I'm going to leave it as it is. This is what um correct for me. And then um, you know, you can add your your other details and other stuff to it. But I'm going to leave it as it is, and then I'm going to click on update over here. Okay, guys. So now that I have my my product updated, okay, I have my product updated. So if I go over here, and this is the second product, okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to what go and look for the first product. So what I will do is what I will just view the product in a new tab over here, and then you're going to see how it looks like. So as you can see. This was the previous product, the first product, okay? Uh, the price was 200 and everything. Now, the first product in auction, it has turned to a, to this one over here. So guys, as you can see, this is what, this is, um, you know, our auction product successfully done, okay? So the bid, st bid start from what, um, 50 CDs. And then, um, you know, the condition is new. The time left is this one. And then it is ending on February 14th, as you can see over here. And then, um, you know, if you want to bid, you can go ahead and then what start the bid. And then the bid starts from what 50. But if you want to, um, you know, buy now the 100 cities that we've set up for, it's over here. Okay. So this is how you can be able to add what a bidding, um, you know, plugin or make your your whole website to a WooCommerce website as what as a bidding what um uh, on action auction you know website so what we're going to do is um i'm going to create a new product okay so i'm going to close this one i'm going to also close this one close this one over here and then create a new product and then we compare it with the second the first one that we created so i'm going to add new product over here and i'm going to name the product third product so i'm going to say maybe third Product. So with the third product, I'm not going to give any details to you. All what I will do is um, I want to go to the product type over here and then change it to an auction product over here. And then now it is a used what um you know product that I'm selling. And then um the price, let's say the starting price is five hundred um dollars. And then the lowest price that I want to get is what five hundred. And then the bid increment I can choose to make it as it is. And then you know the um buy now price okay i'll say maybe 500 and then oh uh, i'm gonna say maybe thousand okay so that uh, people will bid first okay so um and then you know the yeah so um the time okay i the date or uh, the ending date i can set it um anyhow so i'm i'm gonna say maybe much um much 20th okay so March 20th done and then um you know you can give some details about it now if i go to the right hand side over here um i can what choose a category that i want it to fall in so let's say um the category over here and then i can choose what set the product image so i'm going to set the product image that i want so um you know let's say um, it is a laptop okay so if it is a laptop, then I need to change the what the category. So I I will instead of headset, I will create a new category and call that category um, computers. Okay, and then I'm going to what add new category. So it falls under computers over here. Now you can add your tags and other stuff. Okay, I think everything is good for me. Now what I want to do is what I want to click on publish over here to publish the what um what the product that's what I have the auction product that I have what I've created. So if everything is done, we can take a look at how the product what looks like. So as you can see, it is very quick. It is it doesn't really take much time for, for you to, to do it. So I can go ahead and then view the product, and then you're gonna see the third product over here. As you can see, the third product. The bidding start from what 500 um you know the the ending date is march 20th and then you have the time zone over here and then you know the buy now price is what thousand and then we can go ahead and then what bid okay so you can go ahead and then bid and then you, as you can see enter more than or equal to so i can decide to to enter maybe 
600 and then go ahead and then what a place what a bit okay guys so i can go ahead and place a bit but as you can see over here um i am not i cannot bid on my own what on my own product okay as we set up the um the the settings that we cannot bid on our own what on our own product and that is what exactly it so guys all the bidding what um you know um details to what will come over here okay all the bidding details to what will really come over here so everything that you want um whoever have placed a bid and all those things you you want to see all the details over here okay and that is it so thank you for watching this video i hope this video helps you to be able to create your own what auction website okay so see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um let us grow together and become a big you know um website or web design content youtube channel over here see you in the next video bye bye